How often does he use his ring? It's supposed to be a nice short day. You guys are making take it all day. How do we do? What do we do with that 20? We divide it by 2, right? And we get 20 and 10. And then we keep going. And how do I do the 10? May I put that up? 2 and 5, right? What am I circling? The 2. Why the 2? Because it's a, it's a number. Like 2 and 5. Seven, eight, no, 2, 3, 5, 7. Okay, 2, 3, 5, 7 is what we're allowed to circle. What number is on the outside here? 2. 2. So that tells me... I can pull stuff in groups of two. So two fives, two twos. Okay, if there's a three there, then I have to have three fives, uh, three fours, okay? And so that's what we did. The same works with letters, except for there's no numbers. Book, put that up. Okay, so when we're doing the letters, okay? When we're doing the letters, we can look at number one. How many X's do I have? I got four, and the easiest way is to write these down, okay? So we got X, 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 okay? Now, my little baby number on the outside is a two. If there's nothing there, it's a two, okay? So when we're looking at this, okay, if there's nothing there, it's a two, okay? So that means we can pull in groups of two. How many X's can I take in groups two. of two? So. Two, right? So I got one and two. If they can go, where do they go? outside right so we got one x from this guy and i got one x from this guy and then the same rule still applies we multiply well how many x's do i have there two so it's going to be x squared okay and so this one is done okay make sure that you're following what are you doing Okay, make sure that you're following along today because I'm going to do all the odds, okay? So don't write on the wrong stuff. Thank you. Okay, so look at number three. Look at number three. How many X's do I have? Three, right? So one, two, and three. I'm pulling out what number is on the outside? A little baby three. So that means I got to take stuff in groups of three. So three fives, three fours. So how many groups of three can I take? One. One, right? So these guys would all go in a group, and they're going to go on the outside. Okay? Now, here's the tricker. Normally, see right here? We don't write the two because it's a given that it's there. Okay? There's that imaginary two. If there's anything other than a two, you have to put it in your answer. So right here should be a little baby three. Okay? There should be a little baby three. And that lets whoever know that you pulled out in groups of three rather than a two. Okay, if there's a five there, my answer would be X little baby five and then that square root, okay? So this is our answer. Um, we gotta put the square root there? For, because it's a uh, square root with a little baby three, yes. You have to have that baby three there. Okay, look at five. How many Y's do we have? We got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're pulling in groups of what? Uh -uh. Four. Four. We're pulling in groups of four. See that baby four? So how many groups of four can I take? I can take two. One, two, three, four. There's one group. One, two, three, four. There's another group. Okay, where do those go? Outside. So you're going to have Y and Y. What baby number do I need to put there? Four. A four. And what's y and y make? Y squared. Y to the two power. Okay, and then there's also this baby four right here. So this is what our answer should be. Um, seven, look at seven. Change that 10 and make it an 11. So draw over it. Put an 11 instead of a 10. Okay, we're going to pretend like it's 11 so I can show you what to do with the leftover stuff. Okay, what is, um, so we got 11 Y's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, what? Okay, we're taking in groups of what? Two, right? Because there's no number on the outside. So we got 
one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups. So on the outside, what am I putting? Y5. Okay, who can't go? One Y. So we're going to put him back. Okay. The same, it's the same for letters and numbers. Okay, you just write them out and take them in groups. Okay, um, okay, nine. How many Y's do I have total? 15. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, I am taking in groups of what? In groups of five. Okay, because there's that little baby five there. So how many groups of five can I take? I could take three. One, two, three, four, five. There's one group. One, two, three, four, five. There's another group. And one, two, three, four, five. There's another group. So on the outside, what's going to go? Y3. Who can't go? Everybody can go. Okay, and then what's missing? That little baby five. Okay. Okay, look at 11. It works the same if you have two letters, okay? You do them separately. Um, so, how many A's do we have? Four. We got four A's. One, two, three, four. I'm pulling in groups of what? Two, right? So how many groups of A's can I go? Two, okay. And where does that go? Outside. Outside, so it's gonna be A2. How many B's do I have? 18. 18, okay. Now, once you start getting really big numbers, here's the cheater way, okay? The cheater way says, you know that there's a baby two right here? What is 18 divided by two? Nine. That means I'm gonna have nine groups of Bs. Okay, and the same works with that four, right? So look, I got A4, so what is four divided by two? Two. Two, okay, if we look at this one, what is 15 divided by five? Three, okay? It works every time, um, as long as the numbers match up. If they don't, then you have to pull one, but eight divided by four is two. Okay, and so that's kind of a cheater way rather than writing them all out. Okay. Okay, but it's not always two, it might be something else. So look at this one. What number is on the outside? Two. There's a two. Okay, so we got two divided by two. What is that? One. So you're just going to get an X on the outside. Okay. And it goes the, the slow way as well. So we got two X's. We can take them in a group of two and it would go on the outside. Okay. How many Y's do I have? Four. So four divided by two is two. So we're going to get Y2 on the outside. Does that make sense? Most of the time it works for divided by two. if it comes out evenly. If it was like a nine right here, you're gonna get one left over. And so nine doesn't go into four. So you'd have to subtract one. Okay, um, 15, eight divided by four. Diane, such a butt. Eight divided by four. Two, so we're gonna X two. 16 divided by four. Sixteen divided by four is four. Okay, and then don't forget that baby four right there on the outside. That's okay. We'll be doing this tomorrow and Thursday. Well, tomorrow we start with the letters and the numbers. Today I just did baby steps, so we did just numbers. We're doing just letters, and then we're gonna start doing letters and numbers. I'm just trying to remember. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. No, I'll show you that.
Okay, 17. Okay, it works the same no matter how many variables you, you just do the A's, then the B's, then the C's. Okay, or the X, the Y, and the Z's. Okay, so we got nine divided by three. Three, so we're gonna get A, three. Three divided by three. One, so we're gonna get B, one. 12 divided by three. C, four. And we're gonna put that baby three right there. Okay, 19, two divided by two. Hmm? One. So you can say X or X or X1. Any of these and all of these are the exact same thing. Okay, so look at um, 19. All three of those are the exact same answer. They're just different ways to write it, okay? Okay, now last but not least, look at number six, because it looks a little more complex. Okay, now, can I scroll? You guys good? Okay, what does X squared mean? Okay. There's two of them, right? So this says X minus nine, that means that there's three of those. So X minus nine, X minus nine, and X minus nine. Okay, we are taking those in groups of what? Three. three. So how many of those can I take? Yeah, one group, right? Here's one, two, and three. So where does that go? So it's gonna be X minus nine, square root, and that baby three. Okay, so don't get crazy with it if it looks like really complex. It's okay once you square something. A squared means A times A. A cubed means A times A times A. Okay? You guys got uh, nine of them to do on your own. Okay? Um, get them done and then put in the box back there. Make sure your name is on it.